how to fix a running toilet by replacing the flapper. My toilet recently had an issue where it was running often and was wasting a lot of water. When I say running, I mean I would flush it, the tank would refill, but then minutes later I would hear it refilling again even though I had not flushed it. Luckily, I saw no water leaking anywhere, so rather than calling a plumber, I decided to fix the problem myself. The first step is to turn off the water going to the toilet. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty, so I'll turn the valve to the right or clockwise to turn off the water. Next, I'll flush the toilet to empty the water from the tank. Then I'll take the lid off of the top of the tank. Inside the tank is a flapper. It's blue in my case. Anytime you flush your toilet by pushing down the handle, the flapper lifts up to release water into the toilet bowl to carry away the waste. When done, the flapper closes so that the water can refill in the tank so that it will be ready for the next time you need to use the toilet. The most common reason a toilet is running is because the flapper needs to be replaced. So I'll carefully remove the old flapper by unhooking it from the pivot arm mount pegs. Then I'll unhook the chain that's connected to the flush handle. I simply measured my flapper and found a replacement on Amazon. Minus three inches. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just bring the old flapper to your local store and find a replacement flapper. Someone there can make sure you get the right one. Once you have a new flapper like this one, install it into your toilet. Just attach it to the two pivot arm mount pegs. Reverse of how you took the old flapper off. Then connect the chain to the flush handle. Leave a little slack in the chain, but not too much or the flapper won't rise high enough when you flush your toilet. Push down on the flush lever to make sure the chain length is correct. Adjust the chain length as necessary. Next, let's turn on our water supply by turning the valve left or counterclockwise. When the bowl is full of water, the flapper should hold the water in the tank until you flush your toilet again. If replacing the flapper didn't fix your running toilet, you may need to replace the flush valve or the fill valve. This is a little more complex and I've done it once before using a kit I found on Amazon. It was around 20 bucks and it comes with everything you need. The manufacturer also provides a link to a video that shows you step by step how to do the job. I'll leave a link to that kit and to their video in the description below this video. If you don't feel comfortable doing these repairs, call a plumber. There's no shame in that. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.